Hello, caller number one, are you there? Uh, yeah, hello. Oh, uh, uh, am I speaking to the one and only Captain uh, uh, Silly Billy from Planet Starlight? That is correct. Hello, what's your name? Oh, well, my name is actually Gladys. Hello, Gladys. It's so lovely to meet you. And I can see you've got a beautiful uh, view there behind you. Yes, well, a lot of people are probably thinking, Gladys, I've never heard of Gladys before, and that's fair. That's my normal name. But I'm also go about as the old woman who lived in the shoe. I'm not really old. I'm only 99. I'm young and springy and ready to see the world. And as you can see behind me, that is my shoe house. Oh, my goodness. Gladys, welcome to the show. What a beautiful home you have there. Oh, you're too kind. A lot of people say it has a lot of soul. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Gladys. Hey, Gladys, um, before we get to your to your, um, to your your issue yes. and how I can help you, um, Peter has said, does Gladys know Nana Starlight? Do you know my Nana Starlight? Oh, I actually do know your Nana Starlight. She is the most lovely Nana I've ever met. Uh, I did think that you looked familiar. I think you actually play cards with Nana, don't you? We play uh, Texas Hold'em poker. Oh. We play bocce. And on Friday nights, we go square dancing and triangle dancing and circle dancing. We do all the dances. Wow, that's very, very exciting. And your Nana is so proud of you, oh. Mr. Silly Billy. So proud. Oh, stop it. Oh, you're going all red. You're all embarrassed. But like I tell you what, you're a very good boy. She never stops talking about you and all the other Captain Starlights. You do good stuff. Oh, you're so good. Oh, you've got a little bit of um, got a bit of food on the end of your chin. I'll just rub it off for you. Oh, thank you so much, Gladys. That's very, very kind. You know, I don't want to say it because there's no other captains around, but Nana has told me I am a favourite. She's known to say that. Yes, yes. Now, can I tell you my problem? Can yes. I tell me problem to all of the kids on yes. the chat? And by the way, a big hello to Peter. Thanks for asking that question, Peter. Of course I do. Uh, Mariah. Uh, uh, little Jims, uh, all the Starlight Rooms, Unicorn, Lily, and all the other kids who are watching along. Oh, that's very kind of you. Well, what, what, well, how can we help you, Gladys? What do you need? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Well, as you can see behind me, that's me shoe. And I had a lot of children, but they've all grown up, haven't they? Oh. Uh, Johnny, he's become an investment banker. Wendy, she's uh, a sole trader on the stock market. Uh, um, one of me other kids is a deep sea diver. They've all moved out of home. I don't need this shoe anymore. So I want to see those hills behind me. Yes, I can see those beautiful, it's a beautiful outlook. Oh, yes. I want to go over the hills and I want to go travelling, but I don't know where to go first. Do I go to a lovely beach or do I go adventuring in a jungle or do I go somewhere cold, somewhere hot, somewhere exotic or somewhere like a big city? I just don't know where to go. I've got too many choices. Well, that's a that's a great, that's a great place to start, Gladys. So why don't we ask our wonderful viewers at home? Let's see what they think. If you think that Gladys should go to somewhere warm and like maybe by a beach, you could hit the star emoji. Or maybe you'd like to see Gladys go and live in a nice big city. You can Big hit... City Grandma! <laughs> you can hit the heart emoji if you think Gladys should go and live in the city. Or maybe you'd like to see Gladys living somewhere nice and cold and near the snow with lots of snowmen and lots of snowballs and lots of lots of lovely hot chocolate. Maybe you'd like that. You could hit the rocket emoji. And I can see that Mariah is hitting that star emoji. You're hitting the star emoji. What was that again? The star emoji is somewhere warm and tropical. Now, as you can see, I've got very good glasses and I can actually see the chat from over here. Oh. And I'm seeing that I could visit someone on the planet Starlight. I mean, there is a lovely place um, on Baked Bean Beach, which Mariah is saying Baked Bean Beach on Planet Starlight is quite lovely. I could be the first Nana, apart from Nana Starlight, in space. They, instead of one small step for man, it could be one small step for old woman. <laughs> oh, well, I think we may have solved your problem, Gladys. You have? Oh, thank you, kids, and thank you, Captain Silly, but you're a very good little boy and girls and everybody in between. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Gladys, and thanks, everyone, for helping us out.